Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Hi, I'm Mike Cabrera with Shondi Tucker at Republic Airport. How old were you when you first started flying? I first started flying Max when I was 19 years, actually 17 years old, and I soloed the airplanes by myself when I was 19 years old, and I've been flying my entire life since then. What made you decide to become a stunt pilot, and why is it so important to you? I started stunt flying because I was afraid of flying, so I took an aerobatic course when I was, I think, 19 or 20, and I was so afraid of stalling the airplane that I took this course to conquer my fear. And because I conquered that fear, I fell in love with what I was so afraid of, and that was stalling an airplane. Now I can stall it and spin it and do all this fun stuff without being afraid. What does it feel like when you do flips in the air? It's so much fun to do front flips. It's so much fun to do back flips because I'm able to make the airplane fly like a remote control model airplane and there's a real person in it. It's hard to do, but it's very much fun. What's the most G's that you can support during a trip? I see a lot of G's. Now we're in one gravity right now, one G, and I see up to nine G's when I pull away from the earth going very fast, sometimes 260, 70, 80 miles an hour. And the harder I pull away, the more G is on my body. And what happens when you have a lot of G's, there's a lot of pressure on you. I weigh t nine times my body weight. You know, I can weigh up to close to 2,000 pounds. When I'm really a 160 pound guy, I mean, that's a lot of weight, don't you think? Yeah. Do you do any exercises to stop you from getting sick while doing tricks? When I first start flying at the start of every air show year, when I'm training to get ready for an air show, I do feel sick. I don't throw up, but I just don't feel very good. And it takes me about 30 flights to get my body used to doing this where it's becomes fun again. What advice would you give kids who want to learn to fly? All kids fly in their dreams. If you fly in your dreams, get in an airplane and fly in real life and push your boundaries, they will love it. Thank you for taking time to talk with me. You're very welcome, it was a lot of fun. Now, Sean Tucker and Rob Holland will show off their flying skills. That's my dad and his assistant, Nicole. They are putting a harness on them so that they don't fall out of the plane while videotaping. At first, they put a harness on me, but I didn't need it because I got to play shotgun in the co-pilot seat. We will follow them in a the chase plane. A chase plane has a huge opening so the camera crew can get a clear view. And away we go. That's Rob Holland. He is a national champion and he practices with Sean Tucker. They're high above the clouds, looking for a clear place to do stunts. Wow, did you see that? That was crazy. He went upside down. I want to try that one day. We are all having a great time. Unfortunately, it's time to land. That was the best ride ever. Thanks so much for flying Team Oracle Airlines, and we'll see you next year.